While laser production sounds simple enough, there's a devil in the detail. As said earlier, lasers are produced by pumping huge amounts of electricity, incredible amounts of electricity through particles. If the laser beams must be hot enough to burn through the metal casings of fighter jets, supersonic missiles, and hypersonic missiles, which are designed to withstand really high temperatures. On the ground, the US military could easily connect entire city grids to this cause if need be. But on the seas, in warships, where these weapons are most needed, they can't. Therefore, there is a dire need for power sources that are just as powerful and yet mobile. This is an almost impossible task. Almost. There might be one ship powerful enough to just make it work. The USS Gerald Ford. USS Gerald Ford is the largest, costliest, and most powerful aircraft carrier in the world. It is powered by two A1B nuclear reactors that produce a combined 700 megawatts of power. This isn't power. It's a superpower, as we'll now see when we compare it to the power output of the other most powerful warships in the world. Nuclear power is far superior to any other form of propulsion in existence today. So any ship not powered by nuclear juice is simply not a worthy rival for the USS Ford. For instance, the UK's Royal Navy boasts two conventionally powered aircraft carriers, HMS Queen Elizabeth and HMS Prince of Wales. The power output of the two Rolls-Royce Marine Trent MT-30 gas turbine alternators that mainly power each ship is 72 megawatts, just about 10% that of the USS Ford. The three carriers of China, Liaoning, Shandong, and Fujian, along with the sole Russian carrier Admiral Kuznetsov, are all conventionally powered and therefore also no match for the USS Gerald Ford power-wise. With all of these in mind, the closest rivals to the USS Ford are the 10 nuclear-powered fellow American Nimitz-class carriers and the Charles de Gaulle aircraft carrier of France. Each Nimitz-class carrier is powered by two Westinghouse A4W nuclear reactors that produce a combined 194 megawatts of power. France's Charles de Gaulle, on the other hand, is powered by two Arriva K-15 nuclear reactors that produce a combined 400 megawatts of power. This ship, the Charles de Gaulle, is therefore the USS Ford's greatest rival in terms of power, but yet only packs 57% of the Ford's power. And unlike its American Nimitz-class cousins, the power generated on the Ford is far from being 100% distributed. Thanks to that, there's room for new power-sucking equipment on the USS Ford, as long as said equipment proves its worth. Laser weapons aboard the USS Ford would be in for a feast, but again, only if they can prove their worth. So how worthy are these weapons really to earn valuable real estate on the supercarrier? How would they help USS Ford's cause on the seas and bring dominating victory to the US Navy? Would they be more overhyped toys or weapons of mass destruction? Well, let's find out. Laser weapons have come a long way from being weapons limited to the four corners of a TV screen. Thanks to major advancements in heat generation and management technologies, we just might see laser weapons used in actual major combat, along with the capabilities that have made them some of the most sought-after weapons on the planet. Capabilities such as Precise speed of light attack As said earlier, laser is light, so it travels at the speed of light, 180,000 miles per second. At such speeds, it would get to the sun in only 8 minutes. Much faster than any target it is aimed at, certain destruction is assured. A laser shot revolving around a finely focused beam is also incredibly precise, like a sniper, but more. In fact, it is what snipers use to ensure accuracy as seen in movies. Then there is the huge benefit of an unlimited magazine depth. Guns and missile launchers, lethal as they can be, are significantly limited by bullets and missiles. Once they run out of ammunition to fire, they're pretty much, well, toothless. A laser weapon, on the other hand, could never really run out of ammo to fire because it generates its ammo in-house. As long as the weapon is connected to a power source, the laser weapon could fire forever, continuously, and without the need for time-wasting reloads, too. Up next is intelligence and self-sufficiency. Hypothetically, if every soldier or personnel of a laser-backed force was asleep, 
Again, hypothetically, and threats were incoming, the laser weapon is generally intelligent enough to spot these threats, track them, and make sponge bombs out of them, grilling them with as many holes as needed to stop them in their tracks. It would also do all of these without waking up the sleeping soldiers, thanks to the silence inherent to laser shots. All of these show that the laser weapon is generally an intelligent weapon and is self-sufficient enough to handle major threats without any input from human personnel. These are only some of the major capabilities that make laser weapons truly special. So no, they're not overhyped toys. They're in some way weapons of mass destruction that shouldn't be toyed with. The cherry on top would be combining these capabilities with those of the most dominant ship on the planet, USS Gerald Ford. Such a combo would be unstoppable. The specifications and capabilities of the USS Ford as it is today is already mind-blowing. The ship boasts a sprawling five-acre flight deck, stands more than nine stories above the waterline, and weighs just shy of 100,000 tons. While this humongous size is enough to put the fear of God in America's staunchest rivals, it is the details of the ship that really make it the beast that it is. To name a few, these include the ship's four electromagnetic launch systems, each costing $450 million and capable of launching 4,100 aircraft before a fault. Then there are the three advanced arresting gear, each costing $700 million and capable of 16,500 arrests before a fault. Thanks to a deck size the same as that of two football fields, USS Ford can easily host 75 aircraft at a time and up to 90 when it really means business. These aircraft include a cocktail of F-A-18 Hornets, Super Hornets, EA-18G Growlers, E-2 Hawkeyes, the F-35B, F-35C, and a host of other jets that fly off into the horizon to perform surveillance, spot threats, identify threats, or eliminate threats. This is more air power than the entire air forces of up to 60 different nations, and more stealth fighters than the entire Russian Air Force has in its fleet. The USS Gerald Ford packs a lot of built-in firepower too. Two MK-29 and two MK-49 guided missile launchers to launch surface-to-air missiles and eliminate targets that are miles away. Three Phalanx close-in weapon systems, four MK-38 25mm machine guns, and four M2 50 caliber machine guns are all installed on the ship, ready to make honeycombs out of their targets. But there's room for one more the laser weapon. The U.S. Navy has already set out to develop laser weapons fit for a ship. In 2014, the first of these weapons was finished and ready for sea trials. It was the 33-kilowatt ANSEQ-3 laser weapon system, also known as LAWS. Then there's been Helios with its 60-kilowatt laser beams, scalable to 150 kilowatts. And then after Helios is the Hellcap laser with its 300-kilowatt laser beams. Whatever laser weapon the U.S. Navy eventually settles on, be it in the kilowatt or megawatt range, one thing is certain. With a power plant that can power an entire city, USS Gerald Ford packs enough electricity to fuel the select weapon. This is more than can be said for any other country on the planet. And as a result, the U.S. is the only country with a real chance at fielding actual target-destroying laser weapons on the seas in a not-so-distant future. American dominance isn't written in stone. It should be written on the exterior hull of the USS Gerald Ford. Thanks to this supercarrier, the US has once again leaped ahead of its rivals and peers in building a crucial weapon, maintaining its status as the most powerful nation in the world. To pay respect to such respectable consistency of the US, give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.